and it is a beautiful sunny Sunday morning so we've been off down the car boot sale and I've seen a few guitars down the car boot previously, some old ones in some right state, but I came across this one today, this um, Fender look-alike, and it was an absolute fab nick. So what I did is um, I offered the guy 30 quid for it and he accepted. Needs a bit of work doing to it. If I just focus in on the um, headstock for a moment, as you can see, like, uh, strings are all over the place. Uh, he's actually put acoustic um, guitar strings on it. Um, well, obviously, that'll have to be changed. The um, neck will have to be... Well, actually, the intonation sounds fantastic even with these acoustic strings on. So I think it's just a case of suck and see as we go along doing the repair job on it. Needs a new whammy arm. Um, I don't know whether it works yet, so what I'm going to do is just plug it in quickly and let's just try um, a few of the tanks. The next thing we want to find out is whether the actual pickups work. So, although we know that these are acoustic strings that have just been thrown on here, I'm just going to plug it in now and see if we can get any sound out of it. Yeah, and it's all bad. Right. Okay, that's into the um, neck pickup. Neck and mid. Mid. Mid and bridge. Bridge. <laughs> we know we've got something. We'll have a look later. So, catch you in a bit. It's on my trusty workbench, i.e. the ironing board. Like I said before, this guitar is actually in excellent condition, even though it is a cheap sort of Indian copy of a Strat. Right, first thing we need to do is get those awful strings off. Right, back to you in a bit. Now what I always do is just snip the strings off before I pull them all the way through in case this part here that's all been curled round the head scratches the back of the guitar. So we'll do that with all of them. And I'll come back to you. Actually, I've had to take the spring plate off uh, to get rid of the um, bits of strings. Um, these aren't necessary, these um, plates, but they actually finish off the guitar quite nicely. And it was a good opportunity just to check inside and everything to see if everything looks okay. Yep, yeah, this is correctly earthed, as you can see here, onto the plate here. I mean, this is pretty normal with any strat, so this looks okay. So that's good. And I'm still amazed how, you know, how clean and what good nick it's in. Now I've got all the strings removed and everything uh, cleaned out of the way from the back plate. What I'm going to do is I've got some rosewood oil and some wood protection, so I'm going to give that fretboard a good going over. It's a particularly dry fretboard, having you know touched it in that, so I think it needs a bit of a good clean. So we'll do that next. Incidentally, this wood cleaner I'm using is only really for the fretboard. Try not to get it anywhere else um, on the guitar. Right, I've given that neck a good clean. Next thing I'm going to do is go over the whole body and everything else and give it a damn good cleaning. 
Um, I've already sent off for a new arm for it, so we shall have a new whammy arm. Um, and the other thing to decide is what strings to put on. Do I go for eights or do I go for tens? I think I'm going to string it up with a set of tens. So until then, I'll catch you up in the second part of this uh, video. So that's all for now then. Try a bit.